What's up, Bank Smashers? Pirate here. Well, I'm coming up almost the second month of the year, and I've been kind of lagging on getting my fucking uh, fishing license. And I'm having a kind of a rough day. Yesterday was a rough day, so as the winter transitions almost over, spring's around the corner, I'm going to take this time to, uh, I don't know, clean out the tackle bag, restock it, see what I need, see what needs to be replaced, and then I'm going to go check out the poles. But, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds into this, and I realized I'm a slob, and uh, this is going to take a while, so open one pocket, and this is what I got to deal with. I thought I could swipe it, and it would go to the front view, but uh, yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. Look at that, first pocket, then the bag, and then a... I also see got Gizmo upstairs going crazy because he hears me talking and he wants to come down and hang out. So that might not happen. It might. I don't know. But uh, let's dig into this bag and see what we got. And I'll get right back to you. All right. Well, as you can see, he wanted to come down. I didn't want to hear him chirp anymore. But I'm opening my bag. Yeah, that right. I made a mess, didn't I? And then, uh, as I'm opening my bag, I'm pulling stuff out, and, well, there's reasons why you put stuff back in the box that we came out of, because it took me a second to get some dumb hook out of my finger. But, I want to show you what I was left with, because I'm a slob, and, well, all this stuff has a home. It really does. But right now, its home is on the floor. Let's see if I can get a good picture of all the crap that came out of my tackle bag. Yeah, that's just one big mess. So, I have a dump bag, a dump pocket in my bag, and all that stuff right there on that little black piece of felt and the lures on the ground. That's like a small reminder of what I have used. Do I need to use it again? Did it work? Did it not work? That's my excuse to just being lazy and not putting it away. But, uh, I've got my work cut out for me, and this guy, this guy right here, what do, you, what do you think about me cleaning? Yeah, you don't want me to clean? No? Hmm? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he wants some music. So, you might hear some uh, Bob Marr a little bit later on as I'm doing this to keep him occupied. But until then, I've got some stocking to do. And it's uh, off to DMV and maybe chance throwing a pole in the water, but it's not wise fishing without a license. But I'm having a shitty day. My luck's kind of running out, so I might not. But uh, we'll get back to what I need and what's coming up, man. So uh, join a nice cool day in the house. Organizing and completely obliterating my OCD because it's going crazy staring at this. And I got to do something about it. So fish on. So as, I, so as I was talking about that, I just kind of cut things off and throw it up my bag and I got nailed another hook and this is what I'm talking about. Instead of just taking the hook off, taking the bead, taking the weight, I'll just snip it and throw it right in the bag. Not very smart. My thumb can attest for that. But what I'm doing right now, at least at this moment, is finding all these hooks with all these trailers and stuff on them and they, well, they've been on there for a year. So... I'm going to take all those off, recount my hooks, put them away, and then uh, start from there. But right now, it's removing the trailers from the jigs, from the swim baits, and these little random hooks of death. As you can see, not getting too far, but uh, still getting there. So safety tip, put it away, don't throw it in the bag. Alright, well this is round two. I, every time I make a video, it always uh, comes upside down or whatever. But the segment I'm trying to cover is, well, I'm pretty much done removing all the trailers and all the stuff off my hooks. And this is what I'm left with with just throwing stuff in the bag. This right here is, uh, there we go, get a good video of it. 
Those are all loose. They had trailers on it just in my bag, my dump pocket, everything, right? Now you'll see a couple, uh, some lures down there. I got a couple jigs and I've got a crankbait down here. And this is what I'm going to settle with that. So when jig fishing or any kind of bottom running stuff, you're going to run against rocks. And well, you get chips, chips in the paint. They don't really look all that great. This one still luckily has both its eyes. But, uh, yeah, and then you come across your jig. Every jig fisherman's going to have this problem. Those rocks, man, they peel off the paint. Now, is this going to affect what the fish sees? Because it's supposed to be, I think that's a mustard, mustard and lead. Is that a color? I don't know. Should I replace this? Can I still use it? I'm not really sure how smart, how smart fish are, but they are chasing fake rubber stuff, so you never know. And then swim jigs. I've always had a problem with the swim jigs. The eyes fall off. I named it Blinky. Um, I've only caught one fish on a swim jig, at least this blue one, and that's probably how it's lost its eye. But this, this is what the segment's about. This thing. Take the weight off, take the bead off, either reuse the hook or throw it away. Don't throw the whole thing in your bag because it will get stuck. But cleaning all my jigs and whatnot and trailers and stuff, this this is pretty much what I was left with. You know, just a endless, endless waterfall of plastic down. Now, sometimes you can reuse them. Same the same thing, that's why I throw them in the box like that, but it is the end of winter and I guarantee most of those have been on for about a year. It's time to replace. And, uh... The mess is getting smaller. Bird's happy. We got Bob Marley in the back. No, guys, that's not his song. I usually get him dancing and whatnot. He's Sean Paul, you know. But, uh, anyway, back to what I was doing. Oh, and if you didn't notice, this is the hacky sack. Any of you stoners may have noticed in my pile, this is for keeping your pole out of the lake. If you got a really big fish and you've fighting it and it jumps off, your first instinct is to take that pole, break it in half, throw it in the water. This, my friends, will save you. Put the pole down, pick this up, kick it around until you feel better, then pick up that pole and go at it again. Because uh, there is definitely more than one fish in the water. And you're going to get it, but not if you break it. So, uh, back to my cleaning. It says hello. Yeah? No? He's like, what the hell are you doing with this best on the floor? I'm going to get back to it. Fish on. Alright guys, I'm pretty much finished up. As you can see, the mess is pretty clean. The boxes are all stacked, reorganized. I've got a pretty good idea of what I need to get before, you know, winter, I mean, uh, sum, summer gets here, or spring rather. And I am out of robo worms, morning dawn. If you want to go to, if you want to go to Lake Berry, some fish, man, you need to have the morning dawn robo worms. Preferably six inches. I think I've got a, uh, what do I got here? Just organize it, now I can't find them, huh? Organizing job, right? Do, do, do. Yeah, I want to get about the six inches, the six inches down. But uh, this is what I got out of the bag. Yeah, all that. Look at it. I got my trailers, cigarette packs, cigarettes, empty containers. But you ask me, what don't you see? You don't see hooks. You don't see weights. Maybe a little bit of line. But uh. I'm a budget fisherman. I fish, you know, on the go, and if I'm able to reuse it, I will. But you, what you won't see me do is throw any of this shit on the ground. I am not a litter bug. I am all for keeping your fishing spot clean. Other people are going to come behind you, and if I pull up my line and I've got fishing, someone else's fishing line on my stuff, I'm heated. But uh, I always walk around with at least a bag with me so I can pick up what I see, what I can, because, man, it's it's always that one rotten apple that's going to ruin it for the bunch. And I don't want to be that guy, and I'm going to help 
to eradicate the other dude. So if I see you doing this or throwing any of that stuff on the ground, I'm going to use you as a lure. And I don't even care if I catch a fish or not. But uh, so that ends my segment of uh, keeping your tackle bag clean and the reasons why. And obviously I get a little bit of a best appearance by Mr. Gizmo here. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to say hi? No. He's only two. It's the beginning of his uh, first major uh, molting thing he's going with his bird, with uh, his wings and stuff, so. Oh yeah, you like this song? Is that what you look like there? Is this your solo? Is your solo? You gonna, you gonna send us out? You gonna send us out, Gizmo? Huh? You gonna send us out? All right, guys. Well, keep your tackle bag organized. Keep your garbage off the ground. And always keep track of what you need, what needs to be replaced. Because there's nothing worse than going out there looking for your favorite lure and realizing it's broken. And ain't going to good. So, that's it for now. I've got the rest of my day to go. And hopefully the uh, Bank Smasher can put all this stuff together and do his little movie magic thing or whatever he does for the YouTube channel. And, uh... On with my day, knowing that I've got clear minded that this thing is organized. Just like our poles. Fish on. Catch the big ones.